Yes, sir. What's good, you two? It's your boy Reg Dollar. We back and welcome to the first episode of the Goaded Fictional League. It's been a long time coming, man. I'm not gonna lie. From making four draft classes, made a 75 prospects each, and that's a total of like 300 players. God damn. Yeah, I decided to take it to the next level though and create a league of greatness. All Goaded Fictional Draft Class players in a fantasy league, fantasy draft. 30 teams all rebranded, new coaches, and rotation timeline are fully done, bro. My brothers, my brothers, it's time to be goaded. If you got Xbox Series X, you know the scenario is up, and the name is Goaded Fictional League. Without further ado, I got to introduce y'all to the teams. So let's kick it off. The Pittsburgh Force. And... The name says it itself, Brute Force, Rich Mac at the top dog with his second guy, partner in crime, Chase Cassidy. And let's take a look at the rest of the roster. Uh, they got Dominic Odom, another sniper. Uh, Trevor Wilkins, point guard, 6'6". Could handle it, and he could shoot it as well. Alonzo, Montana, Prince Aminu. So they got a real solid team. They built the team nicely around shooters with Rich Mac at the helm. So they're going to play inside out. Bring that brute force. Mm. Next team, Seattle Rain. Let's see, they two top guys is Russell Marshall and Tevin Wilson. I like that duo. And they really got a big three as well. And one thing I also forgot to mention is all these players are basically in their prime. So, like, similar to, like, prime overalls to make this, you know, even more goaded, feel me? But everybody, like, 19 years old or whatever they was before. But looking at the rest of the team for the Seattle Rain. They got Marcus Payne, another shooter. So they got the point guard that could do it all. Tevin Wilson is more like a slashing, slashing type. Marcus Payne, so potential three, 20 point per game scores. Derek Murray is the ultimate glue guy. Corey Cousins, I like this team very well rounded too as well. All these teams about to be nice, obviously. We got a team in Albuquerque, the Rattlers. Let's see what they about. They got Tremperetta. Two top, go two top guys is Trent Beretta and, and Scotty Brown making a nice little duo right there. And Freddie Hobbs. I don't know who is about to be scoring on these two wings. Scotty Brown and Freddie Hobbs is who are the best defenders that we got in the go to fictional uh, drive classes. And all right, looking at the roster. Rounded out, Matt Adams and Jordan Lewis. I like this too. Like the point guards, they're kind of two, two different type of point guards. Uh, Matt Adams more like a Floyd General type of guy. And then you got Jordan Lewis to bring like the scoring off the bench, like the Trey Manns, like the Jordan Clarkson type of guy, the bucket getter. So. Alright, so that's the solid team for Rattlers. Then we got Kansas City Express. Jeremy Goodson and Dante Carter. And then you also got Jay Anthony. Looking at the rest of the roster. They cool. Jeremy Goodson, he him. He is him. One of the best scorers, one of the best athletes that we got in the class is Jay. One of the best passing guys, 6'8". I think the tallest point guard out of everybody. Dante Carter, three-level scorer as a big man. Uh, Neil Lovett, another bucket getter. Stretch Robinson. I like this core as well. I like this core. Uh, Milan Markin could also shoot it. Shoot that thing. Next team, we got the Fresno Fury. Dwayne Cooper and Latrell Cross. And they also got Brian Williams. I think this is a deep roster. This one, I think this is one of the deepest rosters we've seen. Uh, a lot of players could just do like a lot, a little bit of everything. Let's take a look at their roster. Uh, Brian, two-way guy, locked down at the point guard position. JJ King gives you an interior presence. Milo gives you a playmaker at six nine. Also shoot the ball. Got like a Gallinari type of type of game to him. Nick Honor, six eight, can shoot the ball. And he's not too bad a defender. Uh, Jalon Morgan, <laughs> jack of all trades. That's really his type of game. And then Michael Milano, he like a how I describe his game. He like he kind of got a little bit of Jalen Brunson into his game. But they got a solid team as well. And then at the top, Dwayne Cooper, he could be the best guy on a championship team. He's that he's the alpha, straight alpha. And Latrell Cross didn't really talk too much about him. We, you kind of, you know, if you know, if you watched the series last year, Latrell Claus playing Reggie Mack, 
you know ability that he brings on the defensive end. And if the scoring is there, he's something. Next team getting into the Las Vegas jackpot. I think we got two Las Vegas teams. But on this one, Khalif Kingston and Logan Shazowskis. This is about to be this this front court might be my favorite front court in the in the league. Khalif Kingston, defensive player of the year candidate, and Logan, he could shoot the peel off the ball and is so skilled at 6'10, 6 6'11. 6 and they got it. Oh, they roster is fire. I'm not even gonna lie. They got a chance to win it. Uh Dyson Cambridge. Got like a uh Jalen Hood Shafino. If you guys watch college basketball right now, he plays for Indiana. Uh kind of like a big guard, combo guard, 6'6, 220. So you got like a Jalen Hood Shafino and kind of like a Gary Trentness to his game. Absolute dog. Kwame Mensa. Plays like plays like Amani Bates. If you guys are a fan of Amani, well, you guys most likely know Amani Bates. I'm not the biggest fan of Amani Bates' game, but he kind of has that in him. Uh, Deshaun Ross, a bucket getter. Oliver Ali, he's 6'10", 195, so the, the length that they could put out on the floor. As well as they got another 6'6", point guard, Julian Bell. Kyrie Lewis, who could get buckets. So this is a deep-ass This is a deep ass team. I'm not going to hold you. I like this roster. And then we got the Vancouver Huskies. If you guys watched the last episode that I did, Dimitri Kalathis is something. He's a freak. He is an absolute freak. At a 94 overall, who was a big two? Uh, him and Dustin Williams. So they got two bigs. Another four and five as the as the top <clears throat> top two guys on the team. Devin Brown, lockdown type of guy. Got like some Kaysan Wallace to his game. Drew Holiday type of point guard. Aiden Villa, 6'10". Uh, got some Gordon Hayward in this town. Uh, Delano Hughes, shoot first two guard. He's looking to get his shot and get his game off. But Dimitri, they're going to go as far as, as he could take them. I don't know. This is probably not the most perfect roster of fit, I'll say. And I'm telling you, bro. The fantasy draft I did for all this, it took me so long to do because I don't know what 2K did. It's always something that they take out of the game. Like in this, in the fantasy draft, you can't see like the team, like the previous picks for like the team that you're drafting for. So you gotta go back and look at the whole draft results. And 2K just makes everything so hard it has to be. So this draft probably took me like two and a half hours to do. Next team we got Marquise Allen, the Nashville Sound, Marquise Allen, and Pierre Duval. This is a this is a very that's a that's a backcourt. <laughs> that is a backcourt. I can't even, I don't know what the hell this is. A, that is a backcourt. And then the wings, the, the forwards, Darius Carrington, bulldog type of defender. The guard one through five, and then Aiden Aries is also another really good defender. So I like that. And then at the five spot, at the five spot, they got Kenneth Upshaw, big as hell, seven foot two sixty five. Then they also got Kareem Bishop, another rim protector type of guy. Uh, Romeo Pettis is a lights out shooter. And then the rest of these three guys, they solid. None to really write home about. But at the top, I like the top six. Top six or seven guys on the roster. And they got the guy, Marquise Allen. You're going to need the guy in this. There's so much talent in this. The next team, bro, I, I, when I found his name, I was like, what the hell is a Grackle? The Grackles. The Austin Grackles. They jersey tight hard. I'm not going to hold y'all. Y'all gotta have to wait for the games to see the jerseys. Um, the Austin Grackles. I hope I'm saying that name right. I'm about to probably look stupid as hell. Um, but we got Troy Mack and Jalen Miller. I didn't even peep the overalls on the sides. So everybody probably got some high ass overalls. But Troy Mack and Jalen Miller, let's take a look at their roster. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh so we got those two, T Mac, you know, you know the real T Mac. You feel me? You know he about to be a winner. Uh, T Mac him, you already know about him. Jalen Miller, another three level type of scorer. Rico Ryder. So they got two really good wings that could defend. Lamar Ruffin is gonna push the tempo for this team. Then they got two solid bigs. Yeah, two real solid bigs. Julius Sanders, uh, really good rebounding big, six eleven, two two sixty five, big body type of guy. 
And Antoine Russell, he could get them scoring off the bench. And then they got another shooter in Kareem Richmond on this roster. So this is another team that is a threat. I like their big three. Like their big three a lot. They got three guys that could give you 20. 20. And then off the bench, you got wild cards that could go off. Like an Antoine, Antoine Russell or Kareem Richmond with the shooting. All right, now we're about to go on to the Chicago Union. They got Markel Terry and Mario Ellington. Another 4-5. This is a... Damn, this is a... Oh, my God. This is a special one. Let's take a look at the rest of the roster. TJ Cyrus. Well, Markel, who would I describe his game? He got the Boogie Cousins to him. I think he went to Kentucky as well. So I'll give him like a Boogie Cousins, cat, cat type of game. And then Mario Ellington was like a Jabari Smith type of prospect. Could shoot it really well and really defend. Like a in between a Jaron Jackson Jr. Because he's a better shot blocker than what Jabari Smith is. But could also shoot it as well. And then TJ Cyrus is a bucket getter. Think Jamal Crawford, like uh, Nick Smith right now at Arkansas. He's that type of level like, bucket getter. Amari Miles, he's gonna, he's a really good athlete. Um, nothing too special as like a shot creator or anything, but gives them, gives them, <laughs> gives them pr good production at the wing spot, I'll say. Uh, Darrell Curtis. Jalen Parker could score it. Dream Lawson come off the bench and score it. Amari Thompson, a shooter. Uh, Desi, Desi Brooks, really good athlete. And then another stretch five for them. So they got a good team. Yeah, you're going to have, you're going to need to have a four or five in this league. The front court is definitely going to be important. And let's take a look at the new Jersey glory. You know, shout out Jersey, you feel me? You know I had to get Jersey a team. And you already know who on Jersey. Reggie Mack and TJ Russell. That's a duo right there. I don't think I've seen anything better. Feel me? I don't think I've seen anything better. Let's take a look at it. The New Jersey Glory. You got Reggie Mack. Who is him? Who is him and Rich Mack? They at the top of the Golden Fictional League. Like I don't, I don't think anybody else really messing with them. Uh, TJ Russell. 6'5". Got a mix of Tyrese Halliburton, uh, Jordan Poole, a little Steph Curry with the shooting ability that he has. And then also at the three, Eric Eric Tyler. This is a special three right here. I'm not going to lie. Like the overalls is probably not as best, better than like other, other threes. But the way they're going to work well together with Reggie Max slashing ability to get to any spot at any point in time. And a lockdown defender, TJ Russell, who's a really good playmaker and a lights out shooter that's going to stretch the floor a lot. And Eric Tyler, he's one of the better defenders as well. So he could key in and guard the best players while Reggie Mack could wait till the fourth quarter and do it. So this wing situation, well, not situation, this three is something special because Eric Tyler is a lights out shooter then this. So kind of got like a Klay Thompson type of, type of game to him. And then Trenton Green, an athletic player at the four. Montez Hendricks, Reggie Max teammate at Duke, national championship Duke. At the stretch five, got like a Miles Turner type of game. Bobby West is going to come in and defend. Uh, Yaroslav, you could give it some in the post and he could score a little bit. Kind of got like some Ogalskis type of game. Uh, DeAndre Pack, he could score. He could come off the bench and score at all three levels. Najee Morris is a shooter. Ramon, Ramon Velasquez, yeah, he about to warm up the warm up the seats with Reggie Mack when he had to get a little breathing. That's all. That's all he really do to the roster. And then Las Vegas low riders, you got Austin Mack and D. Diagne. And Dustin Day. Oh yeah, this is another, this is another true contender right here. Austin Mack and Dustin Day is as as Athletic of the backcourt that you could get. Think when you when you see Dustin Day, think Zach Levine. Uh, D. Diagne is might be the next Dwight Howard. Absolute menace on the defensive end. Deshaun Cook also gives you a three-level score at the four spot at six ten. Denzel Rush, absolutely length, lengthy and stifling defender. And then now is Leslie, another really good shooter. Trace Low, he aight. Uh, Karan Booker. 
rest of the bench ain't nothing really crazy. But at the top, the top six guys is going to be scary come playoff time. It, that's if they can make it. It's about to be a tough league. Nothing is guaranteed. And the next team we got is the Houston Comets, led by Caden Graham at the point guard spot. Deontay Favors with him. Uh, Nano and Mbogu. So another good 4-5 tandem. 7-1 at the 4. At the 4 spot, could shoot it. And also block shots. And an athletic guy at 6-11. They don't run. They don't really got too much strength. They about to get. Mm, they about to get worked in a post in some matchups. Now I'm gonna hold you. Caden Graham is one of the best point guards that we have here, and then Shea Holloway. Three level, smooth bucket getter, smooth operator. But I like this as well. They got Melo Jones to go along with this roster. Uh, Jaden Moore, Eddie Houston. So they got a couple three, three and D. Well, not three and D. Two way guys because they could do more than just shoot. I put some respect on their name. So I like this Houston Comets roster. Then the next Las Vegas team, the Las Vegas Venom. This is a ooh, <laughs> this is a true, it's another true contender right here. Jabari Mack, Shane Baker. I'm over here saying ooh, like I ain't seen these rosters before. But like, ooh, nah, this team is this team is tough. Three guys that could go and get you one at any given time. Uh Jabari Mack. And they all have size to them. Six at the so basically at the wings, you got six eight, six eleven, and six ten. All mismatches in they in they positions that could get you one at any given time. And then at the five, you got uh, Cliff Ochefu. Um, really, just really good uh, defender. Just got like the Clint Capella role, simplified role, but he is impactful. Uh, Kai Brown, six five, so a big starting lineup right here. A big starting lineup. He could score and he could really defend as well. So basically, everybody's full of the whole starting five is full of kind of two-way guys. DJ Reed could go and get you on the, off the bench at all three levels. Still got size off the bench. Another simplified role in Eddie Knox plays. Asante Isaac could shoot the ball. Another three and D type of guy. Uh, Tyler Ford could score at all three levels, and Dylan McCoy is a shooter. So this team has all the ingredients. All the ingredients of a championship team. Columbus Capitals, Dario Dijakovic, Aaron Booth, uh, Deron Frazier, uh, Boogie Evans, a bucket. Th this is a cool team. <laughs> this is probably one of the lower level teams that I've probably seen. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Dario is a great player, but he is not about to be the championship. They're not winning a championship in, in this. As him as the best player. Then you got the Bronx Hustlers. Led by Carlton Davis and Josh Tillman. I like that backcourt a lot. Carlton Davis is a flat-out superstar. Think Penny Hardaway, 6'7", 200. P think Penny Hardaway and Tyreek Evans. And then you got the defensive menace and Tyson Dawkins. Uh, lights out sniper and Clay Hooper at the three spot, 6'9". Played with, play with Carlton Davis at co in college at Kentucky. And then you got unique on a walk -oop. So you got some you got some burly dudes at the four and five spot. But they could change it up with Calvin Pope. He could score. Stanley Patterson can handle the ball, point forward at the three spot. Could make plays for himself and, and others. So this is another really good team. They got the ingredients to, to compete. Omaha Bison. Guess who is behind this team? Jimbo Jackson, seven foot two seventy-five. Absolute menace. This is Greg Oden. This is Greg Oden right here. And then another combos. Four and five spot. This is important. Because this is one of the best shooters at the four spot. Donatus Vadis. Him. Absolute sniper. Face up playmaker. And then you also got Adrian Sparks. 6'6". Uh, kind of got DeJounte Murray to his game. Josh Bridges. Think of... Dariq Whitehead, kind of. Uh, Dariq Whitehead, kind of game. Dwayne Bacon, he kind of plays like Martin Vong, a big, big guard. Big guard, kind of. But he's a wing, 6'7, 235, could handle the ball. And then Moses Johnson, uh, two way guy. Jesse Edwards, come off the bench and light it up. Who do I have them as a contender? They're a good team, but. 
I don't know. I don't know if I'm there yet. I got to see how they play out. All right, let's move on to the St. Louis Spirits. You got Joe Banks and Dante Mack at the helm. And then you got Carmelo Cruz, Landon Roy, 7'3", rim protector. Uh, Kevin Blazic, 6'10", 190. I forgot where he was from. Uh, he went to Notre Dame, but he is from somewhere overseas. They got a good team. Now we got the New Orleans Raging Cajuns. Tyree Smith, Xavier Barnes, and I. He dunks everything with Xavier Barnes. He's probably one of my favorite players to play with and like the newer draft classes I made. Uh, we also got Jalen Honeycutt as well. Absolute sniper. Will Page, 6'3", can get to a bucket. Many type of Donovan Mitchell, Donovan Mitchell vibes. Uh, Kofi Mensa, Romeo Houston, they got a good roster. They could do some things. I like that. I like the top two guys. Next team, we got the Baltimore Banners. Led by Dior Wright. Superstar type of vibes when I see Dior Wright in action. Uh, Lamar Carter is an absolute bucket at 6'9". Uh, Ryan Marketing. Probably one of the most underrated guys in all the draft classes I made. Uh, Jalil Iverson. He going. He missed a go and get you one. He's going to get you one. Coming in the game. He got J.R. Smith type of confidence to him. Nas Barkley is another basic Mitchell Robinson. And Miles Murphy is a 3 and D type of guy. They got a really good team. The Cleveland Rockers is next, led by Danny Tyler and Kenny Black. I like this backcourt a lot. Then at the four spot, you got Adrius Rucker. Kind of got the AK-47 type of vibes with a little bit more playmaking to him and probably a little bit better shooter. Jamari Scott. 6'8", shooter. Could create a shot a little bit, but nothing crazy. Nothing wicked. And then Malik Wright, Tristan Lane. Uh, nobody really talked about on the rest of the, on the rest of their roster. Next team, we got the Tampa Tigers led by Allen Rose and Jaden Jackson. I like this combo right here at the 2-3 and three spot. Allen Rose compared to the closest thing that we've probably seen at Grant Hill. I'll say that for sure. And he went to the Brotherhood. Feel me? You feel me? And then Jaden Jackson, just like another Jalen Green type of player, but he's a little bit taller. I think Jalen Green like 6'4", but Jaden Jackson is like 6'6". Six, six. And then Kobe Martin, 6'7", point guard. Uh, Royal Paris could shoot it at the four spot. Kenny Blade, 7'2". So I like this team as well. I think they, they got the ingredients to make a deep run. The Iowa Energy led by Ricky Cruz, and then they also got Raheem Jenkins. Uh, skills six seven one guy, Darius Wild Wiley is a burly six nine type of Draymond Green s type of player dog, Jarius Walker type vibes, Eli Flowers six seven one eighty five, could score at three levels really good athlete, Skip Fletcher score, then Jordan Tate is a three and D Avery Bradley type of player, <coughs> whoo whoo. Next team, we almost there, almost there at the end. Devontae Tucker and Caleb Taylor, two bucket getters. And then Deion Jones is a, a do-it-all at the three spot. And then they got another 7-2. We got some size. We got some size in these classes. Jace Dupree, 7-2, 235. Cam Ramirez also on the roster. Mike Bentley got some Fred Van Fleet type of vibes coming off the bench for this team. Aaron Kelly is another good athlete. Uh, they got athleticism on this roster between uh, Jordan Keenan, uh, Aaron Kelly, uh, Cam Ramirez, and even Devontae Tucker. They're going to they're gonna run. It's going to be a running, running gun type of team. And we got like six teams left. Let's do this. Dalen. Porter and Denny Vita at the helms. Uh, Denny Vita got like a Demonis Sabonis type of game. And Dalen Porter might be the closest thing to Team Act that we've seen. 6'9, 200, skilled with the ball. Got like the Team Act and Paul George game to him. Let's see what he could do and how far he could take this roster. Juice Thomas, uh, Brandon Jennings. That's what I see. You see the Mohawk and everything. Just think Brandon Jennings to his game. Trayvon Hopkins, uh, 6'11", has really good size. And then you got two bucket getters at the at the two-guard spot. I don't know who's the better score between these two. Javante Hall is a bucket getter. 
and Kobe Evans is another bucket getter. Then to round out they roster, they they are all right. Then we got the Oklahoma City Knights with Omar Jackson. Oh, former two dude teammates, Omar Jackson and Trey Phillips, as well as Kason Wheeler, uh, Camden Hayes, Josh Barnes, a bucket getter. Uh, Galil Goodrich could give you um, some playmaking at the two spot. Makai Terry, the brother of Mikel Terry. He ain't his brother. He is not his brother. Nigel King gave me some shooting. They a solid team. They nothing crazy to me. The Utah Range is next. Tyson Cambridge and Scott Kane. That duo moves me. That backcourt moves me. Tyson Cambridge got like a K cutting hands this game, but he might be like a little bit stronger than him what K was coming in. Scott Kane. Besides Danny Tyler, Scott Kane might just be the second best shooter that we got in this in this class or in the league. Dante Knight, just very impactful. Impacts the game on multiple different ways. And then Chris Williams, got some good length to him, 6'7", 190. Gave me some Devin Vassell type of vibes. And then they got two different look of, two different type of bigs. Kendrick Payne is more a defensive big. And Justice Augustine is a little bit more of a scoring big. So I like this team. Like I said, those top two guys move me as a duo. The Utah range could be in contention. And the Vin Virginia Beach Neptunes, led by Kayvon Cabongo, an absolute superstar. Jameer Slater at the four spot. A slasher at that four spot. And a shot creator in London Price, another really good deep range shooter. And then a big, solid seven footer, Markel Savick. Roman Styles to fill out, they start in five. And then a bunch of solid bench pieces. Kayvon, Jameer, and London. Three guys that's capable of averaging 20 a game, while Kayvon's capable of getting to that 30 point mark. So they got the scores. We just gotta see how they role players gonna play out. And last two teams, we got the New York City Natives. We got another New York team led by the other twin, Mo Davis. And Tyus Rogers, this backcourt moves me as well. And then at the four spot, Alpha Aminu, 6'11", 205, with endless wingspan. At the five spot, they got Braylon Stone to give you some powerhouse at that five spot. And then the two, the two wings that they got at the three, Primo Parker and Corey Washington. Give you two different type of looks. Primo more of a defensive guy, energy. Corey Washington more of a scorer. Chance Jackson with some athleticism coming off the bench. A solid bench. This is a contender. Contender for sure. And the last team, the San Diego Surf, led by Turn Up Smitty. They flame the game's been missing. Larry Smith and Chima Kanate, big fella. Look at him. Look mean as hell. Uh, look at you. Uh, Eddie Mosley, a scorer, shot creator at that three spot. Julian Love, Julian Love, another shooter at the two. Darren Rose, got some Lamar Odom type of vibes. And another pretty solid bench. This team moves me as a contender. And this is the last team. And let's ride this up. All 30 teams, like I said, all 30 teams rebranded. Got some new coaches, feel me? They're all the system proficiencies. So we are here. The next episode is going to be a couple games. I'm going to try and play three games a week. Three games an episode. And then that's within a week. And it's your boy Reg Dollar, man. If you got Xbox Series X, go and download this. Go and download all the Goldie Fictional Draft classes. And I don't know if you can hear that dog barking <laughs> in the background. If you can, my fault. But we about to turn this up. The first my NBA in 2K23. Let's make it a great one. Let's make this a good year. You feel me? Run my hands like bird, man. But you know how I like to end these episodes. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Stay safe. Be goaded. I'm out of here. See you on the next one.